Welcome to this tutorial. It's time to board the Bake to Vertex Color tool. This tool is responsible of copying the colors it can find close to each vertex, taking all the data of the image found in the UV. This process depends on the quantity of vertices the object has to generate an image with high definition. I checked there's a UV map in the material as well as in the UV maps of the object data. I open an image editor. In the 3D view, change the object to edit mode. Being there, select all the vertices. Now I make a new image. Push bake in the render section. and subdivide the plane until it reaches a good enough amount of vertices quantity. I bake again to show you that the baking is in fact dispersed through the area each vertex covers in the plane. I activate the Bake to Vertex Color option. Then push Bake. A message saying no objects or images found to bake to appears, which means there are no vertex colors in the vertex color group. Let's create one for this plane. Now, in the material, I make sure that the vertex color paint and the vertex color light are deactivated. Push bake again. You will see nothing, which is okay. Change to solid and activate textured solid. Now, you see some blur lines on the image. That means that the process has worked fine. Change to the vertex paint mode. Also, take off the textured solid option. Now can be seen like the effect has been left exactly how it looks, which seems a pixelation of the image. To render it, activate the vertex color paint option in the material and deactivate the texture in the texture section. The result, the image got rendered. Of course, the pixelation we just made can be saved back to an image. I assure now that the material has 
activated the vertex color paint and in the shading tab turn on the shadeless option. I change the baking type to textures and check that the bake the bake to vertex color option is deactivated. In the image editor I open or make a new image. Then press bake. And that's how the baking to vertex color works. Well, that's it for now. See you later and happy blending!